Nowadays, wealth and prosperity are increasingly concentrated in a few of the world's most powerful families. They are always a hot topic of interest to a large community, with assets of up to tens, even hundreds of billions of dollars, along with operating a series of global-scale companies. It is absolutely no exaggeration to assert that these families can have a direct impact on the world economy. Owning enormous wealth and solid foundations, they have become rich and prosperous for many generations and increasingly asserted their position in global finance. Their luxurious and magnificent life is what billions of people dream of. In today's video, Luxury Style will share with you interesting secrets about the 10 richest families in the world. Below are the detailed content. One, the Walton family. The Walton family is the richest family in the world. At the top of the value chain, in 2023, Jim, Alice, and Rob Walton were each worth about $65 billion and ranked 16th, 18th, and 19th respectively on Forbes' list of billionaires. Walmart is a retail giant. Founded by Sam Walton in Arkansas in 1962, Walmart is now the world's largest company by revenue, with $524 billion and more than 2.3 millions of associating companies in the United States. If Walmart employees lived in just one city, it would be America's fifth most populous city. The company has operated more than 10,500 retail stores worldwide and 4,720 stores in the United States so far. Being best known for its big box stores in rural and suburban America, Walmart is famous for its cheap products and has been criticized for its treatment of workers. The company has failed to bring big box consumer lifestyle comes to New York City, unlike its competitor, Target. Up to now, the third generation has owned the company. Walmart is the world's largest retailer in terms of revenue, with $573 billion from more than 10,500 stores globally. Two companies, Walton Enterprises and Walton Family Holdings Trust, own 47% of Walmart shares the main source of wealth for the Walton family. Two, Mars family. Frank C. Mars, the founder of confectionery giant Mars Inc. with annual sales of $30 billion in 2012, began selling candies in 1902 at the age of 19. The company he founded later became famous for its M&M, Milky Way and Mars Bars brands, even though pet care products contribute nearly half of its $45 billion a year revenue. They are ranked among the third largest private companies in America. Mars is one of the famous brands of confectionery, offering some of the most popular products. Mark Inc. is wholly owned by their family members, and they do not offer any shares to the public. Mars is considered a ubiquitous and extremely popular multi-generational family business. Today, the company is better known for making M&Ms than the Mars bar of the same name. In 2017, the world's largest candy company diversified by purchasing VCA, a pet care company for $9.1 billion. Siblings Jacqueline and John Mars, the heirs to the company, each has a net worth of $31.7 billion and is ranked 41st on Forbes' list of billionaires. The company is currently run by some of their descendants, the fifth generation of Mars family members. Three. Koch family. Brothers Frederick, Charles, David, and William inherited their father, Fred's oil refining company. The battle for control of the company in the early 1980s forced Frederick and William to leave the company. Charles and David stayed to build the business into Koch Industries, a multi-industry empire with annual revenue of 125 billions USD. The brothers managed their assets through a family company, 1888 Management. Nowadays, his older brother David has passed away, and of course the heir to this huge fortune has been Charles. Charles' assets are estimated at $60 billion, ranking 21st with David's widow Julia Koch and her family on Forbes' list of billionaires. However, nowadays, the public perhaps knows him better for his political activism, digging deep into his pockets to make his mark, funding libertarian candidates and think tanks, funding university professors, and lobbying for policy positions, all to promote a conservative agenda. 4. Al Saud Family The Saud, the royal family of Saudi Arabia, 
has a monarchical history spanning nearly a century. The family's vast fortune, estimated at $105 billion, has grown thanks to the payments from the Royal Diwan, the king's executive office in decades. The Al Saud have led Saudi Arabia in the past 90 years. The royal family's assets are estimated based on the money royal members have received over the past 50 years. The total assets of more than 15,000 members could be much higher. Many people also make money from brokering government contracts, selling real estate and starting companies, like oil giant Saudi Aramco. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the son of the seventh king of Saudi Arabia, controls the assets worth more than $1 billion. The Al Saud royal family has only gone through two generations. 5. Hermes Family Fashion lovers all know that the French fashioner, the luxury goods supplier, Hermes, has stunned the world with the signature scarves, ties and perfumes as well as the iconic handbags, Kelly and Birkin. Back in the 19th century, Thierry Hermes designed equestrian clothing for the aristocracy. By 1978, the company developed a global network of stores selling high-end leather goods. Nowadays, wealthy people are willing to spend large sums of money owning Hermes products. Hermes Foundation is sophisticated handcrafted products, some of which take months to complete. Today, the company decorating basketball royalty, LeBron James combining old schools and new technology, introduces the line of Apple Watches of Hermes, with the prices from $1,300 to $2,000 or more. Axel Dumas, the sixth generation of this luxurious goods empire, has been at the helm of Hermes since 2014. Hermes is considered one of the most successful examples of a family business empire. Forbes estimates that at least five members of this family are on the list of global billionaires. 6. Ambani Family Indian industrial conglomerate, Reliance Industries, the only Asian company is the least known to average readers. The Ambani family's wealth is based on the business of Reliance Industries founded by Mr. Dhirubhai Ambani. After he died in 2002 without leaving a will, a power struggle between his two sons, Mukesh and Anil, broke out. Later, they agreed to divide the business. Each of them chose their own path. Since then, Mr. Mukesh and his family have created a fortune beyond imagination. Their children all participate in the family business instead of relying on inheritance. Reliance Industries operates in various fields from energy, retail to media. Recently, the Ambani family started the construction of one of the world's largest zoos in the state of Gujarat. This zoo is expected to open in 2023, along with a rescue center to help local authorities. The Ambani family also owned a cricket team, Mumbai Indians, and opened the domestic football tournament in India in 2014. The eldest brother, Mukesh, currently holds the leadership position of the Mumbai-based group, the group owning the largest oil refining complex in the world. He lives in a 27-story castle that is considered the most expensive private house in the world. The Ambani family has grown over three generations. 7. Wertheimer Family Due to not being familiar names to the media, two secretive businessmen, Alan Wertheimer and his younger brother, Gerard, are respectively on Forbes' list of world billionaires, with each person's net worth estimated to 79 billion USD. After Pierre passed away in 1965, the control of the company was transferred to his son, Jacques. In 1971, the Wertheimer family bought 10% of Chanel Coco's shares when she passed away. In 1973, Jacques' son, Alain, convinced the board of directors to take his father's place. Alain became the president of Chanel at the age of 25, and his younger brother Gérard headed the watch management department. At that time, Alain and his younger brother worked hard to revive the gradually exhausted Chanel brand. Alain immediately reformed the brand by expanding the ready-to-wear segment, re-establishing market share to lead the high-end perfume field. The wisest decision of Chanel's leader at that time was to persuade German designer Karl Lagerfeld to become creative director for the brand. He took full advantage of Karl Lagerfeld's creations to create a high fashion image. Since then, Chanel has become famous in both the upper class and the whole world. Nowadays, at the age of nearly 80, 
Alain and Gerard continue to run Chanel and become the most silent billionaires in the fashion industry. 8. Cargill Macmillan Family Cargill is one of the largest and most successful agricultural companies in the world. The Cargill Macmillan family owns Cargill, America's largest private company, with $114.6 billion in revenue and 155,000 employees. The Cargill company was founded in 1865 by William W. Cargill, who began trading commodities with a grain warehouse in Iowa in 1865. Starting from a small grain warehouse, relying on their own efforts without being listed on the stock exchange, and only passing down to family members, the Cargill Macmillan family has dominated not only the agricultural and food markets, but also finance, industry, and services. Cargill operates with 75 small businesses and 155,000 employees in 76 countries worldwide. This company's annual revenue has reached over 100 billion USD. Today, the Cargill company remains active in the food and agricultural sectors and provides financial risk management services. A joint agreement between different branches of the family puts six family members on Cargill's 17-person management team. There are about 90 family members who together own 88% of the company. According to Forbes, eight of the family members are billionaires. The average person may not know Cargill Macmillan, but anyone in the agricultural industry has heard the name. This is the fourth richest family in America with the assets worth 47 billions USD, owning the famous Cargill company. Surely the prosperity of the Cargill Macmillan family will not only last for 157 years, but much longer. 9. Thompson Family The fortune of Canada's richest family began to be built in the 1930s. Roy Thompson was the first person to realize the enormous market potential of the radio system when it first appeared. After that, he developed into the field of print journalism and became a leader in the media industry in Canada. Media group Thompson Corp. became one of Canada's largest economic groups. Becoming the largest media business owner in Canada, the Thompson family currently holds a two-thirds stake in financial data and services company, Thompson Reuters, through investment company, Woodbridge. Last year, this company achieved the revenue of six billions USD. Media conglomerate Thompson Corp. is one of Canada's largest economic corporations, with the total market value of 30 billions USD. The owner of this corporation is Thompson Family, the most powerful and wealthy in Canada. According to Forbes magazine's rankings, the Thompson Family currently holds a fortune of up to 19.6 billions USD. The Thomson family has earned their wealth from Thomson Reuters, the media company since the early 1930s when Roy Thomson opened an Ontario radio station. He later switched to journalism. The family holds about two-thirds of the shares of financial data and services provider Thomson Reuters through its investment firm Woodbridge. Not only has it become the largest media business owner in Canada, but this family is also very successful in investing in other countries especially in England. Thomson Reuters also expanded its investment into other business areas. The most notable one is the travel business group, Thomson Travel. Besides, it also focuses on investing in the oil and gas exploitation group of Nord Sea and becomes the largest shareholder. Roy Thomson's nephew, David Thomson, is the chairman of Thomson Reuters. He ranked 26th on Forbes' list of billionaires with the net worth of $49.2 billion. 10. Hoffman, the Ori family. Ieri Hoffman, the family that owns the world's leading pharmaceutical empire, Roche, with the fortune of $39 billion USD, has maintained prosperity for 124 years, through five generations, and has still been getting richer. The company Roche Holding Pharmaceutical was founded by Fritz Hoffman, La Roche, in 1896. Currently, the Hoffman family owns 9% of the company. Cancer treatment drugs helped the group earn $68.7 billion last year. These family members are also prominent environmentalists. According to Bloomberg's annual ranking, their $39 billion fortune has increased by nearly a quarter over the past 12 months. This is thanks to soaring sales of Roche's COVID-19 test kits, helping its stock value stay even stronger in 2020. However, 
What makes it stand out is not only the massiveness of the property, but also its admirable durability. The Ori Hoffman family is now in its fifth generation and is still richer than ever. Up to now, the drug maker, Roche, has still been controlled by its founding family, which is an extremely huge achievement. The stability of Hoffman and Ori's holdings is supported by the huge dividends they receive, totaling more than $700 million in 2020. They are also helped by a relatively small number of family members dividing the suspension. Their shareholder group is 15 individuals, compared with dozens, sometimes hundreds of heirs of other families. So far, this richest family in Switzerland has continued to prosper for 124 years. Through the above information, what do you see the above 10 families have in common? Perhaps it is not difficult for us to realize that the richest families in the world have mostly inherited huge wealth from their previous generations. However, what is worth mentioning is that the next generations have known how to inherit and strive to continuously develop, to maintain and increasingly build their family position. And you, which family among them are you most impressed by? Please leave your comments right below the video. See you again in the next video of Luxury Style.